Hey Awesome Doodle fans, I'm here at Chris and Natalie's house in North Texas. And Natalie, um, it's been so fun to be here. Thanks for having me this weekend. Uh, we've had so much fun um, while I've been here. We gave all the puppies a bath. We just did a super, super cute uh, photo shoot. And I've got to say hi to all of Natalie's dogs. And you know how much I love um, Patches and Diva and Tater Tot and Libby. I just uh, absolutely love her dogs. Her dogs are very well behaved. They don't jump on me. How do you do that? <sighs> a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> we, we work on it, but I mean, like I said, I mean, we have a lot of people come over, so they yeah. get they get practice and they're, they're socialized. So sweet. And... So, sweet. so Natalie, um, tell me about. Uh, You've been raising Aussie Doodles for with Awesome Doodle now for a couple years, mm -hmm. and before that, you used to raise uh, purebred Aussies. Mm -hmm. And when I first came to you and proposed the idea of Aussie Doodles, you kind of laughed at me. Um, but uh, so here we are, two years later. Here we are. And you have uh, three litters of Aussie Doodles in your house. <laughs> <laughs> what I really want to know is. You raised um, Aussies, you know, kind of more of a traditional, like a traditional uh, breeder would raise Aussies, mm -hmm. where, you know, much different than, you know, we raise uh, Awesome Doodles. So tell me, what are some of the differences when these Awesome Doodles go home at eight weeks old compared to when your purebred Aussies uh, went home at eight weeks old? Well, um, you have a lot higher standards, <laughs> and it's good because, um, I mean, we raised them in the house, but I didn't honestly handle them nearly as much. Mm -hmm. We didn't um, start a lot of the bathing, um, the strict worming, deworming schedule. Um, we're just, they're a lot, they're handled a lot more than I ever did before. Yeah. And you can tell the difference. I mean, everyone, you know, talks about, you know, how the potty training goes, you know, fairly easily. Mm -hmm. um, they're already started in their crate training. Um, these guys, you know, we start teaching them how to sit. And, I mean, they're super smart. So, yeah. it, but overall, I think they're just a more rounded, more well-socialized um, dog, what we do here at Awesome Doodles. So, mm -hmm. and that's really... Um, what sold me on it initially was the fact that, you know, we were really breeding high genetic quality dogs. And that was always my thing is that I wanted to breed healthy dogs. And, yeah. um, and that's what's, you know, sold me on the awesome doodles was that, you know, all of my females are health tested. We're using a great stud dog that's, right. you know, I mean, jackpot runs loose on the ranch and rides on a four wheeler and you can't just put two dogs together and have no i mean but you have want, awesome doodles yeah but i mean you want them no and, and the baseline i think is healthy genetics mm -hmm. and the rest of it what we do here as far as in the house and the socializing and the bathing and the teaching them to sit already i mean that just when you get a puppy at eight weeks old they're so much more advanced yeah and um you know what i've always said is that you know you pay a little bit more up front but over the life of a dog I mean it's such a better investment for you mm -hmm. as health wise and you know fitting in your family mm -hmm. so would you say with the way that we do the awesome doodles um, you know over how you used to do your um, purebred Aussies their transition from from your house to their new family is much easier much easier mm -hmm. yeah. yeah in terms of potty training um trusting of humans mm -hmm. you know, yeah. there's so much more trusting of humans i think <laughs> and it's not just the it's not just the potty training and being trusting of humans it's you know everything else that goes along with it you know trimming their toenails once or twice mm -hmm. um every two weeks and like you said, giving them baths every couple of weeks, um, it just makes them such more well-rounded, mm -hmm. you know, like you said. And, yeah. and when they go home, 
they're not scared the first time they get a bath and they're not scared the first time they get their toenails trimmed mm -hmm. and they're raised in the house i mean they hear the hair dryer they hear the vacuum they hear mm -hmm. doors opening you know they hear the oven you know doors opening and shutting so they hear all that stuff you know before and they're just i think they're quieter because they're so used to like being in the house and hearing all those noises the tv and i mean these ones right. you know taters are in the living room so we'll pull them out and you know we'll sit here and watch tv with one on our lap so yeah i mean they're just already integrated into that family life do they ever hear adults arguing in the home never <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> you know, it's I, I joke about that, but you know, a couple of my dogs will run and hide mm -hmm. when there are adults arguing in the house because mm -hmm. they're just not used to it. Yeah. You know. No, we save that all for the outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you, um, so it's you and Chris here, and then uh, Chris's daughter, and Chris. Chris's daughter brings her friends over. Her name's Shayla, right? Yep, Shayla. Uh -huh. Yeah, and she brings her friends over. Yeah, yeah. So they, um, Diva's litter is in Shayla's room, so they get extra attention um, from Shayla. So they yeah. hear, you know, they hear her. She's in and out. You know, she's picking them up. I mean, what thirteen-year-old girl doesn't love? Yeah, <laughs> puppies for sure. <laughs> so. For sure. So, I mean, she's good with all of them. She's a good help. I mean, she's good with, you know, tro nails and ba bass, and um, right. it's a good extra help. But they get to be around, you know, kids and, and picked up. and. So now that these are six weeks old, so you will start uh, teaching them to sit and wait for treats. Yep. Yep. And um, one thing that I like to remind everybody about doing that is it's not just them sitting and waiting for treats but it it really gives your your puppy uh, it changes their default behavior of just jumping on you um you know when a when a puppy wants attention or a puppy wants a treat their default behavior is just to jump on you and mm -hmm. paw at you and everything so by teaching them to sit and and wait their turn for their treat you know we get two or three puppies um, down on the floor at one time uh, it teaches them to be submissive. Mm -hmm. It teaches them, you know, how to ask us for something rather than just jumping on us. Mm -hmm. um, but that's it's challenging at first, right? It is. It, but it's. I mean, it's pretty amazing how. I mean, we never taught that, you know, with such little puppies. Yeah. But it's amazing how quickly they do pick it up. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that I was. We were shocked within a matter of, you know three different sessions, you know, over 50% of them were already doing it. They get so, it pretty quick. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. and it, and the ones that don't, you know, we, we type, like to take them out and, and do them separately because sometimes uh -huh. it's just hard for... Hard it depends on their mood, too, right? Like, sometimes uh, yeah. you get them out and they're just too rambunctious or they're too sleepy. you got to gotta be at the right time. Yep. And uh, that's why I like to tell you guys, when you get your puppy home, you know, if you're doing a little training session with your eight or ten week old puppy and they're not cooperating uh, it might not be a good time to do that session you know sometimes they're just not in the mood they might be too excitable or too sleepy and you can give that puppy just a 10 minute break and try it again and then it's like they're a different mm -hmm. different dog yeah well uh, again uh, thanks for having me this weekend it's been awesome to be here um, Love to see your horses and uh, and all your dogs, and um, I can't wait to come back. And I'm sure I'll be back in about a year, and we'll get to see some more of you little guys. Isn't that right? I'm gonna take you home, okay? You can't. All right, guys. Over and out.